Hello everyone, welcome to the newest installment of the Morris Miner Rebuild video blog. This is probably the last video I'm going to make before it goes off to paint. As you can see we're back on four wheels. Rear axle is installed. All went in quite easily. Everything lined up nicely. Um, no rear wings on, they need a bit of repair work. That'll probably be done in the body shop, as I'm not too confident fixing up the double curve at the rear. You can see the last patches I've put in there at the back. Um, finished fixing up. This will ain't dressed, obviously, but. Finished fixing up that corner, which, as you may recall, was quite messy. Front suspension is in. It's sort of, it's not really put on tightly at the minute, um, but it's, it's enough to make it mobile for the paint shot. Shock absorbers, those are the original ones, just refilled them with um, hydraulic oil, put the bumper mounts on. I have had the wings and bonnet on, and the cheese grater grill, as you can see there's lying on the floor. There's the wing and the bonnet, I've had them on, they do line up quite well but they'll require a bit of readjustment within the, when the paint shop gets to them. As you can see I've closed over the indicator holes, someone had put those in the previous owner but they're not original so got rid of them. Um, the seat inside's a bit of a tight squeeze so I'll not go down there. There's the other door, that one requires a bit of repair around the bottom and that door that's attached is fine. It's just catching a wee bit on the gutter at the minute. Um, the gutter I repaired myself, but hopefully that won't require, probably just needs pushed out straight. Um, sort of put a patch in there on the other side. That was purely cosmetic. Underneath has been repaired and now on the top. It's not going to be seen below the seat, I'm not too worried. Um, original steering wheel we had in storage and we got hold of a second hand steering column for a series 2 very kindly sent to me from the Isle of Lewis via ebay um, there's some kick plates um, sill covers, not sure which ones those are but they need cut down slightly, they're a wee bit too long um, but they're fine that corner there at the arch just needs tidied up, but again, it's welded up from underneath, so it's fine. Um, car seems to have been a bit of a mismatch of years, um, so I've had a few problems with parts orders and so on. Um, for instance, the track rod ends on the steering rack; those I ordered what I thought would be the correct free gear, but they were the wrong size. Um, so I have new ones on order. Suspension's all painted up and shiny. Um, went together quite well. One of the, t I can't really show you underneath, but one of the tie rods are the uh, torsion bars. The end had to be cut off that, but I built it up with weld and got a 12mm uh, thread put into it. So I'm quite pleased with that. Repair rather than replace. The handbrake is in and working to a degree, but not fabulously, as you can see, there are wooden blocks. So hopefully we're away off to the paint shop next week, and the next video you'll see a, a nicely repainted Clarend and Grey two-door deluxe saloon. So hope you enjoy. Thanks.